Here's my 180C chainsaw guys. How many of you watching today like this toolless adjustment as much as I do? Well, if you like it just as much as I do, you've come to the right video because what I will be showing you today is how to convert it just like the MS-170 where you actually have to use a tool to adjust and also remove the bar and chain. So basically what I'm telling you here today is that I don't care that much for the toolless adjustment and I prefer the way it is on the MS-170 where you actually need a tool to adjust the bar and chain because I know when I tighten it up it's much tighter than with the toolless adjustment. So in this video here I'll be showing you how to do the conversion so that your MS-180C is the same as your 170 on the clutch side here. It's not that expensive to do and it's not hard to do as well. So for everybody watching today that aren't familiar with the steel chainsaws, the MS-180C has a toolless adjustment here for the bar and chain. Whereas the MS-170 has two nuts here that you have to manually loosen to adjust the bar and chain. Now I run a small engine repair shop and I get a lot of customers that always tell me I hate this toolless adjustment system here. I even get a lot of comments on YouTube as well about this issue. It's not that bad. It's not my favorite system. I do prefer that way above this. However, a lot of people that come in the shop are just totally frustrated. Sometimes they bring the saw in the shop after they've tried to put a new bar and chain on or adjust the chain and they just can't get it right. Also, a lot of customers complain that the bar and chain get loose quickly on this saw as well. Now, it may not be the saw's fault. You do have to flip this up here and tighten it up quite tight to make sure that your bar and chain will not get loose. However, a lot of people do ask me, how can I convert it from that to that? First thing you need to do is remove the bar and chain. Now when you remove the bar on your MS-180C, you will find this part here. This is part of the toolless adjustment. It is screwed on the bar. You will need to completely remove this screw here. So this part here is still good and I do recommend that you save this and the cover here in case you ever want to convert it back to the toolless adjustment. Now what you'll need to do is remove the torque screw right here. You'll need a T27 torque screwdriver. It might be in there fairly tight. This is the hole that the extra stud needs to go into. So it's a big screw and again this is where the extra stud will go in and now you'll need to pop off this little cover here metal piece so it's basically just a rectangular piece of metal like this now the next thing you need to do is to air blow this nice and clean and make sure you wear safety glasses if you use a blow gun Now here's a list of all the parts you will need to do this conversion. First of all, you're going to need an extra stud. This is a used one I took off, an old 170. It's actually called a collar screw. Here's the part number. You're also going to need an MS-170 cover. It comes with the two stud holes. It will be part number right here, 11236401705. Now if you want to be able to adjust your chainsaw from the side cover instead of the front here, get this little kit here, 1123-007-1000. I did do a video in the past of how to convert your MS-170 like this, which adjusts right here to a 170 that adjusts from the side cover right here. So today I will also be putting this side adjustment on my MS-180C here as well. Now, if you don't care that you cannot adjust your saw from the side cover right here, all you will need to buy 
is the adjustment screw right here. So you can just go to your dealer, say you want the adjusting screw for the MS-170. And last but not least, you will need two bar nuts for this. So the first thing I'll be showing you here how to do is how to install a bar stud. And to do this, I use the two nut method. It's quite easy. So I just put the two nuts on the stud like this. Then what I do is tighten up the two nuts together like this. And now you just screw it into this hole here where that torque screw came out of. Now what I'll do is tighten up the stud right in there. You may have to tighten up the nuts again. There we go. And there we go. It's tight in there. You don't want to go too tight because it only screws in plastic. You don't want to strip those threads. And now the two nuts come off and you've got your stud properly installed. And you can use the same method as well if you were, were removing studs. Now what I'll do is show you how to put the chain adjuster assembly together. Usually when I buy these, they do come together. Now I do want to suggest here to resist the urge to buy the cheap Chinese one because it is not of good quality. You're better off to buy this, this assembly here from steel. Now the first thing you want to put together is this part here inside the plastic one. It'll fit perfectly in there. Next, grab this part. You want to push it through here and make sure it's pushed right up straight against the plastic. Next, you want to line up this metal piece right here. So get it started right through like this. Now what you want to do is hold everything together and shove it down this hole here. It's going to fit perfectly in there. So push it all down. So now I gotta get everything flush here. This may be the hardest part of the whole job here is just to get this one piece down. There we go. Now grab the small torque screw from that kit, put it right here. I'm going to screw that screw in before I do anything else here. Now what you want to do is turn this screw counterclockwise. What that will do is get this screwed in to the threads here on the screw under there. And it's going to place it in the proper place here as well. Like I said, usually they come already pre-assembled and you don't have to go through all these steps. I don't know why it did not come assembled this time. And again, it's very important that this part that I just put in is flush with the body of the saw. And you can see here that the screw is already screwed into the metal plate here. This is the part that grabs onto the bar for the adjustments. Now there's one piece left in that kit and it's this little piece here of plastic. And it goes in this position. So make sure it goes in all the way. I'm just going to tap it here. And here's another look at this. And I'll just install the bar and chain. It's easier on the steel chainsaws if you get the chain on the bar, get it right on the studs here in the sprocket. And then what you need to do is line up the hole here to the stud. So I'm going to have to turn this screw out or counterclockwise to get the little stud here to line up to the bar. So it's pretty close. The studs right here, we're just a little ways down. And it's a bonus here to have the side adjustment. Makes it a lot easier. There we go. And again, make sure that your chain is actually on the sprocket and not between the clip and the sprocket like right now. This is a common mistake I see with steel chainsaw owners. And if you put it on wrong like that, what happens is the clip will pop off and then your clutch is going to come off and nothing will work anymore. And now put your clutch cover from your MS-170.
now you will have two nuts instead of the toolless adjustment. I prefer this method here because I find that the bar and chain are a lot tighter and the chain does not get loose as quickly as with the toolless adjustment. Now when you adjust your bar and chain, make sure your two bar nuts are loose. Hold the bar up, check the tension. So this is a little loose here. I'm going to tighten it up while I hold the bar up just a little bit. Okay, now check your tension again. This is good. It goes down about half an inch and pops right back up to the bar. Now remember when you tighten up the two bar nuts, your chain might get slightly tighter. So take that in consideration. Always hold the bar up like I'm doing until the two bar nuts are tight. And this is a much tighter fitment than the toolless adjustment. I can tell you that for sure. And now we have good tension on the chain. Now you have a steel MS-180C without the toolless adjustment, just like your MS-170. So that's it for the video guys. As you saw, it's not that hard to do. Again, you don't have to go with the side adjuster here like I did. I just did that because it's more convenient. If you don't want to do that, then just buy the adjusting screw that would typically go on the MS-170. So now make sure you always have a scrunch with you. It's the tool that comes with your chainsaw when you buy it because you will need it now because it's not a toolless adjustment. If my video has helped you out and you're happy that you don't have to deal with that toolless adjustment anymore, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also make sure to hit the like button and to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are below the video and you guys have a great day.